15. Adrian Ochoa is next with your ABC7 Sports. Well, good morning, sports fans. I'm Adrian Ochoa with a look at the world of Borderlands sports. If the kiddos are asleep right now, get used to it. They've earned it. School is officially out for summer, and that means it's graduation season. But for two students out in Florida, graduation was a bit of a downer. I'll tell you why. Their school took away their diplomas later in this sports cast. But first, Coronado tennis coach Jerry Pippins is calling it a career. He's retiring after 17 years coaching the T-Birds. He also coached football at both Coronado and at Jefferson. Pippins is closing the door on a 36-year coaching career. And he went out on a high note. Four of his players went to the state tournament this year, and Nathan Brown won the state singles title. Pippins won 17 straight district titles and was also recently inducted into the El Paso Athletic Hall of Fame. Here he is. 17 in a row, which is, you know, pretty good, I guess. Uh, you know, it was never really about the titles. The winning is always great, but, uh, you know, it's just kind of like you come out, you do your job, and, and, you know, I try to, you know, work as hard as you can, get the kids to work hard, and, and basically the winning and losing takes care of itself. Pretty good. That's pretty impressive. Coach Pippins isn't done with tennis. He'll be the tennis director out at Tennis West. He's also not the only coaching great to call it quits. Thursday, legendary Eastwood swimming coach Steve Flato announced his retirement as well. Well, the Chihuahuas lost a bit of their bite. They entered last night's game just two and a half games out of first place. The team currently in first, the Las Vegas 51s, are in a slump as well, riding a nine-game losing streak. The Dogs were trying to take advantage and salvage a split against Omaha. Let's go to Southwest University Park. Janet Lopez throwing out the first pitch. Then she finds out her boyfriend Once is trying to propose life, to her. Did she say yes? Who needs me? Well, let's go ahead and speed someone things up. And I yes, she said yes. Good thing, too, because that would have ended up on Sports Center. I guarantee you. Their night went a lot better than the Chihuahuas. Let me tell you, top of the second, tied at one. Eric Krantz, a three-run blast. And that was too much for the Chihuahuas to overcome. The dogs still not feeling the love. They lose again, 5-2, to two, the final. Well, to say Crayola Moore is one of the best softball players in El Paso would be selling her short. She is one of the best softball players in the state and also one of the greatest athletes in her school's history. And now she's being rewarded for her hard work. Moore signed a letter of intent yesterday to play at Division I Texas Southern. Moore had a tremendous career at Parkland. She hit 593, 51 home runs, and 65 doubles. Here's Crayola and her coach. My team helped me in my gut. Yes, they're a big factor in this. And it, without them, I wouldn't have made it anywhere. But she set the tone. She set the standard for Parkland softball. And as she's grown, our program has grown. And as better as she got, our whole team got better as well. So this is actually a, a big day for our entire program, for each and every athlete on our, on our team. Well, her coach says she was the first to practice and the last to leave every time. That's at least part of the reason why she struck out just 12 times in her, tire, in her entire career. So congrats. International friendly now. The U.S. men's team taking on the Netherlands. 53rd minute Memphis Depay makes it 3-1 to one Holland. But the Americans would not go quietly in the 70th minute. Team USA strikes back. Beautiful setup for John Brooks. He was a World Cup hero. That makes it 3-2. to two. 89th minute off the quarter. Nothing initially, but it finds its way to Daniel Williams, who ties it at 3. A minute later, USA, USA, USA. Bobby Wood with the go-ahead goal. This didn't feel like a friendly at all. Team USA with an emotional rally for the win. The first ever win against the Dutch. 4-3, to three, the final. Well, the Cavaliers are already down one game to none in the NBA Finals, and yesterday things just got worse. Guard Kyrie Irving is out for the remainder of the NBA Finals. He has a broken kneecap. He'll be out three to four months, so it's up to LeBron without the Cavs' second and third best players. Kevin Love is already out with a dislocated shoulder, and starting center Anderson Verjao is also out for the year. Now let's talk about graduations. The culmination of four years of hard work, the chance to get up on that stage and get that diploma, might as well make the most of it, right? For two high school students in Miami, their moment was a bit of a stunner. A warning for graduation organizers, beware of wrestling fans. <laughs>
cold, Steve Austin would be proud, but not their parents. If you're not a wrestling fan, the move is called the Stone Cold Stunner. We have some video here of Stone Cold in action. That's what it looks like. And while their fellow students gave them praise, school administrators were not impressed. They actually took away their diplomas. The students say they practiced the stunt, and even with all the backlash, the backlash they say it was worth it. Their diplomas are being withheld until a meeting with their parents next week. I give you guys an A for execution, but an F for the, cho the choice of location on that. Meanwhile, an El Paso pro wrestler is hoping to make her dream come true by trying out for a reality show that could send her to the WWE. I introduce you to Lynette the She-Hulk Martinez. Lynette Martinez doesn't hide her passion for professional wrestling. She's been a fan ever since she was a kid. I would wrestle with my brothers all the time. We would watch it every single week as a child, so I started loving the sport itself. She loved it so much, there was no doubt what she wanted to be when she grew up. Martinez even joined the wrestling team at El Dorado High School. But when it was time to go from the mat to the squared circle, the transition wasn't as smooth. It was very shocking to me at first. You know, it's honestly thought it was going to be easier. It was a totally different ball game, but you know, the intensity and the level is up there, so that's why it's helping me out. She eventually made a name for herself in the borderland where fans know her as the She-Hulk. Now the 22-year-old has her sights on the WWE, the number one wrestling organization in the world. And I'm going to show you just a couple of reasons why I think I'm tough enough. Martina submitted this video to join the cast of WWE's Tough Enough competition. Her video has been viewed more than 27,000 times on the Tough Enough website. If she's picked, she could be in the running to win a WWE contract. She's hopeful judges will notice she's not all about her looks. I want to be that tough girl in the ring. I want to be, you know, I want to bring something new to the table. And I believe that I can totally, I can bring that. There are two other sources of inspiration for Martinez. While fans may know her as the She-Hulk, to her twins, she's simply mom. But they too share her dream. I tell them that I'm a wrestler, they get excited, you know, they they always think that I'm one of the girls on TV and they think that's me. So I have to explain to them that, you know, I might be going to, they might be watching me on TV later. For now, we'll have to wait and see if the She-Hulk ends up on wrestling's biggest stage. But whether she gets the call, Martinez has already proven she is indeed <laughs> tough enough. Well, good luck to Martinez. To support her, watch and share her audition video. We have a link set up at kvia.com. Just look under the links mentioned section. Tough Enough premieres June 23rd on the USA Network. Only 13 contestants will be selected for the show, so we wish her the best. That's going to do it for sports. Have a great morning and an awesome day. Back to you.